here, I'm at the JCKL website under databases. There are 250 databases found, and they're all different subjects. However, I want a database that suits my subject, which is music of the 1930s. So I'm going to click on all subjects. I'm going to scroll down until I find music. And here it says there are six databases found for music. So I'm going to click on one that looks interesting to me, which is Music Index. At the top of the screen, where you see selected fields, I'm going to put in quotation marks music and the 1930s. I'm going to click on search. So here there are 832 results for music of the 1930s. So I'm going to click on one of these links that looks interesting to me. And most of these are academic journals, however, some are also articles and periodicals. So I'm going to click on number two, writing for radio listeners of the 1930s, national identity, canonization, and transnational consensus from New York to Paris. This is an academic journal. So I'm going to click on that. And here there is only one author, which is who is Jan Passler. However, sometimes there, are, there could be more than one author. So you can see document type is an article, and the source is from Musical Quarterly, Fall 2015, so just last year. So I'm going to read the abstract, and the abstract is pretty much just a summary of what the article is, because I'm sure the article is going to be very long. So the abstract says, the article offers the author's insights about music authorship for radio listeners in the 1930s. Topics include music on French radio and critical efficacy in radio magazine, consolidation of taste and writing history in the writing history in the book L'Initiation à la Musique, and remarks from conductor and composer Walter de Amroche regarding music appreciation on the radio. So it's pretty much just music on the radio in the 1930s. I'm going to click on the PDF full text, which is going to be the article, so you can see what it says. See, it is very, it's very long. It's a very long article. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to find another article or academic journal that looks interesting to me. I'm going to choose number four, which is also an academic journal, which says Parchment Women Write the Blues, What Became of Black Women's Prison Music in Mississippi in the 1930s. Girl power, am I right? Okay, so here it says there's only one author again. Sometimes there could be more than one author. And the source is from American Music from summer 2013. So it's a little older than the last article. And there are, here are some subject terms. There are one, two, three, four, five subject terms, all revolving blues and mu women and music. And the abstract says, the article presents an examination into the history of African-American women's prison music in Mississippi during the 1930s. Details are given describing Camp 13 of the Mississippi Tate Penitentiary System, also known as Parchment Farm, known as a center of women's blues music. Contemporary accounts of the prison published by journalist David Kahn and later cataloged by musicologists during the decade as a distinct center of blues music are reviewed in turn. And here I don't think there's not really a PDF for this. So this is how we use music index. So you can see there are many, many more articles to choose from, but those were the two that I decided to choose. Thank you.